In this video, we're going to look at making an operable curtain panel. So we'll start out in a project file, and we're going to draw a curtain wall. So from the ribbon, I'll click on wall, and I'll change the wall type. Scroll down, and I'll choose a storefront. And I'll draw this from right to left. which will keep the glazing panels to the outside. And I'll set the length of this to 30 feet. And we can go to a 3D view and get an idea of what this looks like. So here's our curtain wall. And the curtain wall panels by default are not operable. So we can make a curtain panel family that has some parameters that we can swing these panels open. So from the big R, we'll go to New, Family, and we can select Curtain Wall Panel. Okay, so we're looking at a, a plan view. Let's go to a left elevation. Okay, so the exterior is on the left. I'm going to actually draw this panel on the right reference plane. And when we go back to plan, we'll see what that actually does. So from the ribbon, I'll click on set work plane. I'll choose it to right. And to make this curtain panel, we're going to create an extrusion. And I'll draw a rectangle. I'm going to snap to the grid lines at the top. Drag it down to the bottom. And I'm not going to set any constraints. I'll hit escape a couple times. And I want to change the thickness. I can change that. For now, I'm just going to set it to 6 inches and we'll set up some parameters that will drive the thickness of this glass. Okay, so the important thing is that all the parameters that I set up for this panel are done while I'm in this extrusion mode. So the first thing I'm going to do is rotate this, which will make it operable. So I'm going to select, using my tab key, the entire chain of lines, which includes the entire rectangle. And from the ribbon, I'm going to click on Rotate. Now I want to move this object's pivot point to the upper right. So I can simply click and drag that pivot point and snap it to the upper right. And then it's looking for a start rotation angle, and I'll click down on the bottom, and I'll start to rotate it. And the angle doesn't matter because, again, I'll set up a parameter that drives that swing angle. I can hit escape a couple times. So I'm going to set up that swing angle parameter by making an angular dimension. So from the annotate tab, I'll click on angular and I'll create my angular dimension. Hit escape a couple times. Select the dimension and add a parameter. And we'll call this swing angle. So I want this to be an instance parameter, which means I can change the swing angle to be different from panel to panel. They won't all have the same swing angle. So every instance can have its own swing angle set up. And I'll click OK. The next parameter that I want to control is the thickness of the glass panel. So I can go back to my annotate tab, click on the align dimension, hit escape a few times, select that dimension, add a parameter, and we'll call this thickness. And this I'll keep as a type so that each panel 
has the same thickness. And the last parameter I want to set up is the length of the panel. So again, from my annotate tab, align dimension, and I want to pick my line, line to line. Hit escape a few times, select that dimension, add a parameter, and we'll call this length. And that needs to be an instance parameter because I need to be able to set the length of that panel based on the spacing of the curtain wall. Click OK. So I have all three of my parameters set up. From the ribbon, I can click on this contextual tab and click on the green check mark. Let's go to our plan view. So under floor plans, I'll double click on reference level. And here we see our glass panel that was drawn on the right grid line. So I'll select that and I need to constrain it to the right and the left grid lines. So I can drag the left over to the left grid line, click on the lock to constrain it. Now for the right side, I need to pull the panel away and then pull it back to the right side to get my constraint and I can lock it. Okay, so our view range is cutting this panel about four feet above zero. So I can set my view range to see the entire panel. So from the properties panel under floor plan reference level, I can scroll down for view range I can click on edit so I want to set my cut plane to the top of the glass panel which is by default 10 feet but that's going to be above my top offset so I'll first change my top to be unlimited and I'll change my cut plane to be 10 feet and I'll click OK and now I can see the top of that panel okay so now we need to set up a material parameter so that we can control this panels material when it's loaded into the project file so from the properties panel I'll click on the family types button and I'll go to my parameters and I'll add a parameter and we're going to call this one material and the type of parameter will be a material and I want to group that parameter under materials and finishes and this can be a type parameter and in the family type window I need to set the type of material for this parameter so I click in the by category I click on the three dots button to browse and I'll choose glass and I'll click OK and I'll click OK from the family types window okay so now when I select this panel from the properties panel under materials and finishes where it says material by category there's a button just to the right of by category I can click on that and set that to my family parameter that I just made so I'm gonna click on material so that will always control this panels material click OK okay now we're ready to load it into our project I'll click on load into project go to a 3D view let's select the glass panel we'll need to unpin it to change its family type from the properties panel we can change it to our operable panel we can orbit around to get a better look at this panel so I can start to change its swing angle I can make this 15 degrees 
click apply I can make it closed I can put zero and click apply so it's important to know that the length needs to match the actual length of the panel so let's get a better look at that I'll set this back to 20 degrees click apply and let's look at one of these four foot tall panels select it unpin it change it to our new family so it defaults to the eight foot length parameter that was set in the family so I'm going to go ahead and change that to four feet and I can also change its swing angle now if you remember the thickness was not an instance parameter it's a type parameter so I need to click on edit type and I can change the thickness back to one inch which is a default panel thickness and you also see our type parameter of glass that we have here so I'll click apply and OK and now those panels are one inch and to see the material and make sure that it's glass I can type SD and you can see that it is a glass material so that's it for the operable glass panel